great. All right, BK from Infowars.com, Saturday, June 6, 2020. Just catching up with the anti-lockdown march. I uh, gave out some paperwork to a couple of interested passers-by. And uh, yeah, now we're heading, excuse me, good afternoon. We're heading uh, west, we're heading east instead of west like we normally do. And we may run into other groups, but I think if we are polite patriots mixing it up in the streets, uh, then we can show everybody else all messed up and mess with each other. They don't have to be. They can be informed and empowered and cool. And so, so and, uh, and that's an important thing. So the GoPro just died, so I just switched to the Sony, and we'll see if we can catch uh, some of what's going on. <clears throat> there it is over there. As you can see, my sore ankles loosened up a bit. And so on. And yeah, there you go, nice lady and gentlemen, eye contact or shy contact. Hi guys, eye contact. Ladies and gentlemen, shy contact. And then when they get worked up and bother you for no reason, just keep your self-respect for the next time or next person you hang out with. And good to go. Since I was a kid, bluntly ignored. Uh, and uh, can't help it, can't explain. Unless it's your wife or girlfriend, you say what's wrong. If not, next time or next person. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so here we are, mostly caught up. This is cool. We actually get to march here, not just the BLM marchers. We actually get to march towards the city and more people. And this army of polite patriots, compared to the sketchy nonsense on the streets. Goodbye, we're going to stick to the curb lane, please. Sorry, mate. So, the cop just told me to stay to the right. No big deal. Good stuff. There you go, and I was just here last Saturday, uh, leaving around 4.30 p.m. And I bumped into the giant uh, BLM protest with 4,000 people here. And uh, it's pretty crazy. Hello, hello. How's it going? Good, Excellent. Absolutely, go for it. But you can stop that. Rude, sketchy, mass zombieosis. Because we as proud, polite, patriotic Canadians get along better than most. We can help other people be informed and empowered talk about fun or serious stuff as opposed to the worked up other people run away all day when it's hard to do anything else near people. No new normal! No new normal! So I figure a lot of patriotic cops might figure, well, if they're allowed to march on the place, we should be allowed to as well. And we can stop this very sketchy mass zombiosis. People bothering you until you bother them. And then when it's hard to do anything here, people bothering strangers and running away all day trying to make more zombies. So. <clears throat> so this is what I'm talking about. The armies of proud, polite, patriotic Canadians who get along better with each other and everyone else hitting the streets and showing all the frazzled, sketchy, gender-neutral, sideways, messing, messing people up stuff. But no, 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 we're cool. We're cooler than most. So, what's up? You know? Guy in his cell phone there, what's up, what's up? Right? We are cooler than most people. We are cooler than each other. We can look at people, talk to people, listen to people, not get on that sheepish sideways, rude, sketchy nonsense. And, uh, and we can help everyone else stop too. Right? So, and people can relax. Nice people, a nice place to live. So, how you doing? How you doing? Now, this is what I'm saying. Compare this juxtaposition to what was going on when I walked up here 
and you'll see the clear difference between the uh, the bothering people, uh, politely ignoring them, and, and versus the people getting along with each other, respecting each other. <clears throat> what I'm saying and how you doing so we can chill out everybody else instead of everybody messing everybody up because as polite patriots that's what we can do we can shut down the mass root sketchy commie zombiosis making hard people to respect each other and communicate well and uh, that's the key and this marching up Young Street is a big part of that now keep in mind I walked from church in Carlton all the way to college university, I showed you what was happening. Compared to this, much, much better. So, what's up, man? <clears throat> Open it up! Open it up! No root sketchy mass zombiosis. All right, what's up, man? I walked up here from church in Carlton. I'll compare the vibe of this to the compare the vibe of the mess on the streets. Way better. We're way cooler. Now we can, we're can we chilling all these people out. These people aren't on some sideways shit. They're way cooler because we're all cool. And we hit the streets, we make sure everyone's cool. <clears throat> you can see... Straight up, no sketchy commie zombiosis. Proud, polite, patriotic Canadians. And be nice, respect each other, look at, talk to each other. No bothering people till they bother you. When you can't do much, bother strangers and run away. If they can't help it, just politely ignore it. Maybe next time or next person you can be cool with. Don't fall into the trap of being a mess with other people. You can't do anything with each other and you mess with strangers and run away. <clears throat> that is key. And then, after this, you can have a nice lady and gentleman like that, just <clears throat> appreciating being near each other on, on a nice day, instead of spazzing out like a monkey hit by a taser. size of this line. Beautiful. I'm going to try and get to the head here. Oh, new normal! This is great. Man, I've been doing this shit myself. confident masculine strength to meet and confirm the same and trigger confident feminine vulnerability in nicer girls who want to help you take the edge off root sketchy politely ignore it maybe next time or next person you get along fine with mm. oh politely ignore it next time or next person The vibe is much more chilled out. We're proud, polite, patriotic Canadians sitting the vibe, respecting each other instead of rude, sketchy, sheepish, sideways nonsense. So we can beat the anti free speech commie zombieism.
you doing, man? Hello, hello. All right, what's up, Buzz? Well, just quietly ignore it. Next time, your next person. Self respect, no big deal. And proud, polite, patriotic Canadians can chill out the rest of the uh, commie, rude, sketchy, mass commie zombiosis. Very make people not be able to look at each other, talk to each other, and uh, turn into rioters and looters. So, what's up, brother? So, just quietly ignore it. Next time, your next person. Hello, young lady. And you're good for. There you go. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. So that's what you want. You want the normalization of polite, patriotic Canadians as opposed to bothering people, bothering you, and so on. Right? How you doing? And that's a, there's a big desire for that. Right? That's what, that's what proud, polite, patriotic Canadians can do, is they can do that. They can set that vibe. So instead of people being divided and conquered, acting rude and sketchy, they can be polite and respect each other and communicate well or mind their business. And uh, so you just avoid it, politely avoid it, and then next time or next person, Make sure you're excuse me. Go cool for it. <clears throat> so good afternoon. Good afternoon. How you doing? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, Larry. Hello. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Hello, hello. Mm. There you go. Rock and roll, young lady. Ow! <laughs> okay, you just avoid it, and then the next time or next person you be cool for. Don't get trapped in the commie zombie web. Shit, go on. Well, I'm done. We're gonna have fun winning this war. Ladies and gentlemen, it's supposed to guys out body you. patriotic Canadians can make sure that we can share how people can respect each other and get along instead of being all sheepish, sideways, sketchy, and messed up. They just quietly ignore the people that are until they stop. Next time or next person be cool with. And uh, on you go.
Yeah! Got it packed! Have fun fighting back! No, 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 Respect people, respect you. Toronto, the people, we won't be divided. Toronto, we love the community. I am LGBTQ community. We need our people. We need you guys. Here we are walking through the neighborhood. A couple of gay guys holding hands and said, What's up? Respecting each other while avoiding rude, sketchy, commie zombiosis as well. Because nobody likes it, and we can stop it. Proud, polite, patriotic Canadians can stop it. On behalf of everybody. And the lockdown. And the lockdown. No root sketchy zombiosis. Next time or next person will get a long fight. Yeah. Hello, hello. It's okay, Ms. Zoe. Nice job. What's up, Mr. Ali? How are you doing, brother? Good to see you. Cheers. What's up, Josh? What's going on? Proud, polite, patriotic Canadians, brother. No sheep or sideways shit. We can help everyone else stop. You should see the mess that was on the way here. Next time or next person. What's up, brother? How you doing? What's up, brother? How you doing? Hello, hello. Yeah. No rude, sketchy crap. Make sure people can look at each other, you can look at them. Next time or next person. No rude, sketchy crap. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good to see you, man. No rude, sketchy crap. No rude, sketchy crap. Help people look at each other, talk to each other, listen to each other. What's up, brother? Thank you. Hello, young lady. No rude, sketchy, put up with me crap. Help people respect each other, look at each other, talk to each other. No rude, sketchy crap. Next time, the next person. Unless you're my wife or girlfriend, no business. Certainly none of mine. What's up, man? Good, brother. How you doing? Hello, hello. Getting yourself? All right. There is the end of the line. No real sketchy crap. Just politely ignore it. Next time, you get along fine. The next person, get along fine. So I recommend, I don't know my man for war sign on me now, but I recommend every can keep a newspaper on him or something like that to, to defend themselves when it comes to strangers and then politely discourage, ignore, dissuade. Uh, people you know, so you can respect each other and communicate well. So, afternoon, afternoon. You'll see a lot of the civilians too, want to be proud, polite, patriotic people, who what you want to see and be, not really sketchy people, excuse me. You have to, you know, you have to force to put up with you or they force you to put up with them. So, so afternoon. Oh, we got attacked, we're gonna have fun fighting back. Who wants to get along? Get up, get up. Who wants to be proud, polite, patriotic Canadians? Great people to see and be. Oh, what's up, man? Go and get respect. No sheep or sideways put up with me crap. No rude sketchy put up with me crap. So here we are. Show and get respect. See? No, put up with me, you're not gonna like it, crap. That's what I'm saying. I just walked up to this from church in Carlton, filming it. I showed you the mess there was in the streets compared to the mess we can stop. Stop people from being and seeing. So, how you doing? How you doing? Nice mom and son say to say hello to. I can't look at people. What's up? Can't look at you. That crap we can stop. No new normal. And no new normal. And Black Krishna. Come on, Daniel. Black Krishna. What up? 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 All right. So. I'm an officer. Ask me straight up. No, no, no root sketchy crap. No root sketchy crap. Just quietly ignore it for next time or next person. Be cool with them next time or you be cool for the next person. 
long as you're not resenting each other for doing that stupid crap. So, afternoon, afternoon. So, polite, proud, polite, patriotic Canadians can connect with civilians like this. And, uh, and that's a key. All right. Walking up to this from right here at Church and Carlton, and compared to the isolated, divided, and conquered, rude, sketchy, spazzing out, firing people going on, this is way better, and we can help people stop. for the next time or next person. No 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 you just quietly ignore it. And then next time you won't resent them, you won't bother each other. And then be cool for next time or the next person. But unless it's your wife or girlfriend, in which case you can say what's wrong or whatever, just skip it. So just quietly ignore it. Just quietly ignore it. Be cool for the next time or next person. The next person, good afternoon, you can be cool with. Avoid that rude, sketchy person. Next person I see, you can be cool with. It's not okay, just quietly ignore it. Look down, look at your newspaper, look away. Happy they're gone, have a nice day. Keep your self-respect for the next time you want to get along with them or the next person. All right, so the same, ignored it, don't hate each other, don't resent each other, good afternoon, and friendly. You see, if I had paid attention to that rude sketchiness, that I, I would have resented her, would have been nice to her, she would have been nice to me, politely ignore it, give yourself respect, next time you see him, hey, we're cool, didn't bother me, I ignored it, didn't bother you, and then, uh, you know, respect each other, and just forget about it. So. so now we're getting held up here. I think they may want the tail to catch up with the head of the head of the line or something. Let's get a bit of area mix. So So I was saying when it comes to winning the offline info war, key components, armies of proud, polite patriots hitting the streets. You don't see them rude, sketchy, bothering each other very rarely. You don't see them bothering each other, running away from each other. You see them all getting along, chilled out, proud, polite, confident Canadians. Everyone else sees it and goes, you know what, screw this. I'm not going to be sheep or sideways, can't look at people, can't look at me, act sketchy. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to look at them, but I want some respect because they're people who have self-respect and show and get it. So if I want it, Hey, that's where it is. So just losing it, bothering people, or losing it, being bothered. is David Menzies trying to get a good shot of this. No real sketchy stuff, young lady. Hello. Help people respect each other and look at each other and talk to each other. All these people want some respect. They're going to look at you and show and get it. 
instead of losing it all the time, bothering people and being bothered. Our police escort. There is the army of proud, polite, patriotic Canadians. Self respects. Looking at that and listening to people. And when it comes to all the civilians here, and, uh, you know, it's uh, a godless communist Canada uh, shithole in Toronto. It used to be a fun, friendly place. We can change all this. Because all those people there would normally want to act rude and sketchy and bother you till you bother them but you can't do much run away and bother strangers would rather show and get respect with people that can show and get respect and respect each other so we can actually beat this uh, rude sketchy mass zombiosis with people so we show and get respect armies of polite patriots can do that as you can see here at the major intersection of young and college the normal root sketchy mass zombiosis bothering people running away is shut down by armies of proud, polite, patriotic people that people want to see and be. People that respect each other and look at and talk to each other instead of, uh, excuse me, following each other. Hell yeah! And that is key. Be people they can respect. No root sketchy shit. I filmed for hours here the root sketchy mass zombiosis and how they want to be ignored and want to stop. And it's this type of polite patriotic uh, mass resistance. I can convince them all, okay, you know what, we're not alone, we're not lonely and rude and sketchy. We're people that respect each other and show and get it. And uh, yeah. They see a group of people with self respect to respect each other. And they want some, they got to show and get it, or they're just going to lose it. And that's partly what we can manifest as part of this uh, this demonstration. Oh. All right, good afternoon. There you go. Cute and then straight up so nobody's worried about it and that's something you can do. If you can be cool with each other. Now, like that, read sketchy, just quietly ignore it. Next time, be cool, or next person, be cool. And now uh, that's it. If, if, if you ignore it, and they stop, next time you can be cool. As long as you don't resent them for bothering you, you don't bother them until, until they resent you, you can be cool. So. Quite a trick. Mm -hmm. Afternoon, officers. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Afternoon. Afternoon. Well, you guys are patriots. Do you know a lot of crap for us. And then we can beat, you know, just ignore that. Next time, or next person. And we can beat the roots, the hermaphrodite cop finishing off a pyramid statue plan to uh, attack gender, destroy men and women so we can't respect each other. And we're commie zombies, easy to control. I filmed at the beginning of this journey today. Well, it's to start. <laughs> 